this new Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Today I'm going to teach you English everyday words that come from Arabic origin. Let's begin. First word is alcohol. Alcohol comes from the Arabic word alcohol. Alcohol. Since you don't have this kind of ha in English, you use the H, the normal ha. Alcohol. So alcohol comes from alcohol. Many people would think like alcohol doesn't exist in Arabic word, the Arab word. It does. And it's called alcohol. Candy. Candy is an Arabic word. It comes from qand, which means the frozen honey that comes from the sugar cane. So that's the original meaning. We don't use qand anymore nowadays. But qand is where the word candy, your English word candy, came from. Apricot. Apricot comes from the Arabic al-barqoq. Al-barqoq is the name of the plant of the apricot. Nowadays, we don't say al-barqoq anymore to mean the fruit itself, the apricot. We would use mishmish, which, <laughs> which sounds funny. Mishmish and very easy for you to learn. So apricot comes from mishmish, which original, originally is al-barqoq, which sounds like apricot. Now barqoq, apricot, which is mishmish. Gazelle comes from the Arabic word ghazal. Ghazal, Ghazal, Gazal, they sound the same. So Gazal came from Ghazal. Ghazal is still used nowadays to uh, call the Gazal or the deer. Every deer, all deer in Arabic, we call them Ghazal, Ghazal. The word magazine, yes, the word magazine comes from the Arabic word Makhazin or Makhzan. Magazine, Makhazin, it's almost the same. It comes it's also in Italian comes from Arabic magazzino you say in Italian but you don't you don't intend the magazine that we read but in in, in Italiano magazzino is a place where we store things so it's the storehouse or the storage and this is where the magazine your English magazine came from the Arabic because machzan or machazin it's the storage it's the place where we store things and in the magazine, we store ideas or writings or stories or pictures. That's where we group them and store them. That's why it's also logical that magazine came from Makhzan or Makhazan in Arabic because the meaning is so connected. Yep. Giraffe also comes from Arabic. In Arabic, we say Zarafa. Zarafa. Giraffe and Zarafa. The signs of alchemy or chemistry. In Arabic, it's alchemia. So imagine alchemy, al alchemy, alchemia, chemia in Arabic. That's chemistry or, or alchemy. Alchemy, alchemia. Another word that comes from Arabic is the word lemon. It comes from the Arabic version of lemon, which is laymoon. Laymoon. Lemon came from laymoon. Also, cotton came from Arabic cotton. In Arabic, cotton, not cotton. Cotton, two uh, guttural letters, kaf and ta. Cotton, cotton, exactly uh, like the same letters. Cotton. The word mattress. Mattress came from the Arabic word matrah. Matrah, in, like in, uh, I mean, the word matrah means uh, the place. Mm, the place where people lie down and rest their bodies, that's matrah. We still use it in the spoken language here and nowadays and like in Palestine we use it to say the place, actually the place, not the mattress, just the place, mm, matrah. So originally it, was, it meant the place where people lie down. Nowadays we call it farsha, we call it, in, like we have another, other words to uh, um, uh, indicate mattress itself. But the original of mattress from the word matrah, how the ha became an s, we don't know. Like the languages evolve, and even like borrowing from one language to another evolves, and the letters change slightly. Mattress matrah. So the logical meaning of mattress is is the place where people lie down and sleep. So that also mattress comes from matrah, from an Arabic word. Another word that came also from Arabic is the word zero. It comes from sifr. In Arabic, zero we say sifr and it's still used nowadays as sifr. Sugar is another word that came from Arabic. Sukkar in Arabic. Sukkar. Even though in many languages it's the same. So some, some languages borrowed from Latin, some from Arabic, some from Greek. It's, I mean, there's a lot of borrowing, but uh, uh, there are a lot of studies that say that the original, the sugar, or zucchero or sugar or azucar or whatever um, 
there are a lot of studies that say uh, that they, all these words came from the Arabic uh, way of saying sugar, which is sukkar. Sukkar, you double the K. Sukkar. Sugar, sukkar. Safari. Safari came from Arabic uh, because safari comes from the word in Arabic, which is safar. Safar means traveling or a trip. So safari is, is uh, of course, it's like connected, connected to a trip, to go on a safari, a trip or a tour or a travel to see the animals. So that's a safari. It comes from safar in Arabic. And safari in Arabic is just safari. Safari in English is just safari in Arabic. Same. And the origin of, of all these two words is safar. It's the noun safar, which means traveling or trip or journey. Also the word syrup, in Italian it's sciroppo, syrup, sciroppo, both of them come from Arabic, from the word sharab. Sharab comes from the verb shariba, sharba means to drink, sharab is a drink, syrup is a drink, something that we drink, not eat, so it comes from the verb to drink in Arabic, shariba, sharab, syrup, sciroppo. I hope you liked this lesson and I will see you in a following Arabic lesson with me, Maha. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, my Facebook page, and to subscribe to this channel for more Arabic fun and language videos and lessons with me, Maha. Maha, salama.